Many education companies like the idea of building up a research base for their products for obvious reasons. It's something they can use to impress district buyers. The problem is that these companies often don't know where to start. The good news is that there are simple strategies companies can use to create a foundation of research which can not only help their sales, but also help them better understand their own products. The gold standard for product research is research that is scientifically rigorous and independent. One strategy for companies just starting out is to build a research base that is smaller scale. This can be extremely valuable to districts and to companies trying to improve themselves. For instance, there's a lot of value for companies in collecting intermediate data on their tools. How much time are teachers and students spending with different components of a product? How are students performing with each of those components? If your company is interested in doing a more scientifically rigorous approach, such as a randomized control trial, you need to be disciplined in how you structure it. You need to arrange to have pools of users and non-users of the product who are identical and representative of the school population on the whole. One common mistake that companies make is that they seek volunteers to use their product, which can skew the results by creating teachers and students who are more motivated to use the product than their peers. Companies can also help themselves by having a clear sense as to how their product is designed to be used in schools. This is called having a theory of implementation. If a vendor doesn't have this, it's difficult to conduct a rigorous study of a product because a researcher can't tell if a product is being used in the right way. So there's a lot of value for companies in trying to build research bases for their products. Following these and other steps can help put a company on its way. For more on this topic and for other essential intel on the K-12 market, check out Edweek Market Brief at marketbrief.edweek.org.